watching the cavalcade of the Prime Minister enter, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remember, he's come here to vote uh, in the first Lok Sabha uh, 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 battle uh, in 2014 that he faced. Uh, remember, he fought the seat next door and uh, fought Varanasi. Uh, and he's come, the, come here to cast his vote. And I'm assuming uh, that his vote is going to be cast uh, in favor uh, of Amit Shah this morning as the Lok Sabha candidate. And so I think uh, we can predict that one easily. Uh, and we don't uh, primarily have to ask the Prime Minister what he thinks his issues are uh, this morning as he's going there to cast his vote. And uh, there is uh, high security, remember, but uh, dot on time. He was supposed to come at 7.30. There he is. Uh, it's uh, nice uh, when uh, you are greeted uh, by the candidate who is seeking your, uh, your vote this morning. Uh, and uh, I'm assuming Amit Shah has had a, a quick chat with him. Sir, please do vote for me uh, so that we can uh, win this seat. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, the, the PM, like any citizen, also has one single vote in this entire electoral process. But the premise, ladies and gentlemen, boils down to some brass tacks. Yes, we don't really see a battle in Gujarat for the Lok Sabha elections anymore. There was a battle in the assembly elections. The last time around in the assembly elections, the Aam Aadmi Party made an entry into Gujarat and by simple vote share, they destroyed the Congress, whatever hopes the Congress had. This time around, and the question I was about to ask uh, Himanshu Bhatt, was the two candidates of the Aam Aadmi Party, just two uh, in Gujarat, uh, that, that had come up. What happened to these people? Did they, did they end up doing anything, Himanshu Ji? We haven't really seen, seen or heard much of them. Specific example of Baruch Lok Sabha constituency, where this Chaitan Vasava is fighting. Now, Baruch is traditionally a Congress bastion once upon a time when Ahmed Patel was alive. Now today, Ahmed Patel's family wants to fight that seat. But Congress gave away this seat to Abadbi Party, Chaitar Vasavas. Now what is happening is, I have a very simple question. Will that Ahmed Patel loyalist still, which is there in Baruch city and in and around, about 75 to 1 lakh votes, Will that get transferred into Chaitan Vasava? Enough? That will not happen. Because Mumtaz Patel, uh, Ahmad Patel's daughter, has been very vocal. She wanted to fight. So that patch up on the ground has not happened. And Chaitan Vasava, as such, you know, with the Baruch Lok Sabha seat, six Vidhan Sabha constituency, Chaitan Vasava holds a sway in one of the seats. Now, by winning one Vidhan Sabha seat, you cannot win a Lok Sabha seat. And that people must understand. But then this national, you know, so-called alliance has given that seat okay. away. So, I, I, my feeling is Congress would have got more votes than what Chaitan Vasava yeah. has So, the bottom line, uh, 25 out of 25 remaining seats, you're expecting the BJP to win all? Yes, I, I expect that, but okay. not with that what they claim, 5 lakh votes. Yeah, five, I mean, uh, after a point, uh, you have to win by a single vote. That's all that matters. Okay, no, 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 okay. No. Nar Narendra Modi uh, himself, uh, what is the flavor on the ground in Gujarat? Because, uh, let's face it, uh, some people in other parts of the country argue that as Prime Minister Gujarat has flourished, that every time a big project has to come up, bullet train, which is, uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's going well. Uh, within about a 18 months of time, uh, India's first bullet train going north of three to 400 kilometers an hour is going to be running from Ahmedabad, where the PM is nearby in Gandhinagar, uh, to Mumbai. It's, it's, it's about to happen. I, you know, it's, it's, uh, I've, I've literally seen the construction of the metros of, of the bullet train station in Mumbai, uh, and it's, it's uh, trundling along. But uh, semiconductor factories, you know, it began with the, with the, with the statue of Sardar Patel, which has become a major tourist attraction, millions of people going there. Uh, port development that is taking place, road development that is taking place, highway development that is taking place, uh, that uh, yes, Gujarat has flourished or do people feel that no, Narendra Modi has been busy elsewhere uh, with other matters of running the business of government of India and therefore we missed out. He's, 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 done, this, he's done his work. Gujarat can see a lot of things, you know, which we have not seen in previously. You see, you are talking about bullet train or you are talking about some other things like, you know, semiconductor units and things like that. They are on ground. They are visible. And mind you, see, what has happened is for the bullet train and for this DMIC corridor, 
when the lands of the farmers were taken away, none of the farmers, none of the farmers anywhere across this across the districts of Gujarat from where it passes, will complain that they have not okay. got their revenue. And what they've got, you know, four times the gently price, which has made those farmers crore patis overnight. That is what Gujarat government has done. Okay. So, All right. Okay. Just stay with me. Uh, uh, you. I, I have not seen this before in our 10 years of watching Narendra Modi as PM and uh, another decade before that of watching as him, him as Chief Minister. Uh, he has uh, gone out uh, to meet the voters this morning in Gandhinagar to sign a few autographs. Now, the one individual who got his sketch of Narendra Modi signed, he's got a prized possession for a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the politics of it and despite, of course, this is an electoral battle which is in quintessentially unpredictable. Uh, it always is. Uh, don't, uh, you know, take every prediction you get with a pinch of salt. But there is no doubt about it. The past 10 years have been the Modi era in Indian politics. There have been other eras in Indian politics. There was the Indira era. There was uh, the Nehru era of Indian politics. This is the Modi era. He is the person everyone else is trying to beat. Not even just the party, the Bharatiya Janata Party. Narendra Modi is the people that every single other political party from Kashmir to Kanyakumari is trying to beat. So this is his era in politics. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.